The Synapse, featuring Neurons Potassium Ion Neurotransmitters Sodium Ion Chloride Ion Calcium Ions Hi, we're Neurons! We live inside your brain and nervous system. Our, Our dendrites, dendrites and axons carry the electrical signals in the brain and nervous system. This is the story of how we communicate with each other at synapses. My axon signals. My dendrites at a special place called a synapse. At a synapse, my electrical signal is changed into a chemical signal. The chemical is called a neurotransmitter. There are over 30 different neurotransmitters. Hi, we're neurotransmitters. We are released from an axon terminal and wander through the synaptic cleft to a nearby dendrite. When my dendrites taste the neurotransmitter, new electrical signals form in them. Let's see how this happens. Up close, a synapse looks like this. At rest, before an action potential arrives, a few synaptic vesicles may be docked at active zones, waiting to be released. Calcium channels are closed. Hi, I'm a calcium ion. When the calcium channels are open, I travel from the synaptic cleft into a neuron. When the action potential depolarizes the nerve terminal, calcium channels open and calcium ions rush in, down their concentration gradient.
Calcium inside the nerve terminal changes the shape of proteins that fuse the docked vesicle within the plasma membrane. Since fused, the neurotransmitter inside the synaptic vesicle spills out into the synaptic cleft and wanders over to this postsynaptic membrane. Hi, I'm a potassium ion. Hi, I'm a sodium ion. We, we help on the postsynaptic side. When neurotransmitter binds to the receptor channels in the dendrite, these channels open. Then, sodium and potassium ions flow across the membrane, down their concentration gradients, depolarizing the postsynaptic dendrite. When neurotransmitter lets go of the receptor channel, the channel closes and membrane potential returns to resting levels. The local depolarization is called an excitatory postsynaptic potential, or EPSP. To end the synaptic signal, the neurotransmitter can wander away from the synapse, can break down into other chemicals, or can be pumped back into the nerve terminal to be packaged again into synaptic vesicles. Once the synaptic vesicle has dumped its neurotransmitter into the synaptic cleft, it can pinch off, ready to fill up with more neurotransmitter. Or it can become part of the nerve terminal. When this happens, new synaptic vesicles are formed away from the active zones, recycling the extra membrane. Now that we have looked at how the synapse happens, let's put it all together now. There are lots of synapses all over our dendrites. Each neuron has about a thousand synapses on its dendrites. All the EPSPs from all the synapses add together in the cell body. If the total depolarization reaches threshold, an action potential starts and moves down the axon. Hi. I'm a chloride ion. I contribute to a synapse, too. Some receptor channels allow only chloride ions to pass through when they are open. These channels hyperpolarize dendritic membrane potential, moving it away from threshold for an action potential. These are called inhibitory postsynaptic potentials, or IPSPs. The soma, an EPSP, and an IPSP occurring at the same time add up to no change in the membrane potential. So synapses allow us to talk to each other, sending and coordinating our signals all over the nervous system. Neurons! Potassium ions, neurotransmitters, sodium ions, chloride ions, calcium ions.